Holding. Alright, Junil. Let's get on with our journey. Wait, can I storyline teleport? No, I can't. Right, we need to go to the hero's room. Or honestly, we could just go straight to Grand Zadora. It doesn't matter. I just usually teleport to the hero's room to uh, start off there. It's actually nice. Uh, now that I've like figured out what works best with, with the uh, chroma key in here, I only need to use like I, I have to use like one light just to kind of even out this side of it. But beyond that, it's good. So it's actually a lot better uh, buh, 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 to the Sage's offense. I feel like my intros are getting like either better or worse. They're getting shorter, but I feel like I'm losing my mind. All right. I've been waiting for you, Belkrum, but I need to ask you for a favor. I've done some research on that cocoon floating above Grand Zadora, and I decided to gather the crown of wisdom. To be honest, it's more than I can handle on my own. So I'd like to have other Sage members check out the cocoon and hear their opinions. I immediately called out to everyone in the secret meeting room using the long distance speaker. But I could not get in touch with Sage Eidos, but I could but I could only get in touch with Sage Eidos alone. I don't think there's anything wrong with him. Please go check on him just in case. And if he's all right, tell him it's an emergency and the crown of wisdom must gather at Grand Zadora. I, okay, she could get a hold of anybody but him. All right, I got it now, sorry. I know she'd be at Sage's Lair in Poopoo Land, Popola region. Then please do me a favor, Belkrum. That was, uh, that was some fun dialogue there. Ha <laughs> Hey there, Barons. How you doing? Thanks a lot for dropping in. Sorry, I missed your first message. I'm I'm usually not here when the uh, getting started screen is going. I'm usually uh, like getting a drink and like getting everything set up kind of thing. But welcome in. All right, let's pop out here and then we'll head right over to Poo Poo Land and then we'll get boogie in. So we're officially on we're on version 4.1 now, so I always just title it version four day whatever, but we're on version 4.1 now. All right, Mega Zoom Stone Poopoo Land. I think it's near PP's Inn. No, it's not. Or maybe it is. Maybe I can storyline teleport. I keep thinking. Yeah, I can storyline teleport. Let's go. <laughs> no worries. I gotta keep this rolling, but like, I want to get back to Monster Hunter Freedom Unite, but that game's like actively trying to ruin my life, so we'll have to get to it when I get a chance. All right, let's see what Sage Eidos is saying. He's just standing around. Why didn't you answer her? This is Caretaker Eidos number four. Eidos is currently out of the office. If you need anything, please leave a message after the tone. He's, that's in the answering machine. Clang, clang, we have authenticated you with Mr. Belcro. We'll now play a special message from Eidos. Welcome to Sage's Lair, Belcrum. I'm currently traveling around Puku Land performing rituals to contain the demon miasma. But it's a laborious task. If you have some business to attend to, I'll let you help me with mine first. You will learn this emote. Welcome to learn the emote Holy Poetry. There we go. We're getting emotes everywhere. If you head to the Peshuya Underground Cave southwest of here and sing Holy Poetry inside the cave. The Demon Miasma containment of the Popola region will be complete. If you succeed in doing so, I'll be happy to hear what you have to say. In that case, I'll meet you here then. I'm counting on you. Dialogue's a little janky in this point for some reason. 
Just a little bit. A uh, couple things that Lucenda said and then something he said there, like just a little janky, but that's kind of always going to be the case. Let's see here. The underground cave, the Popola region. Oh, it's not far. All right, we'll just like head out there. I can show off my new dole board that I got from the summer event. Look at this. It's perfect for a weddy. It's everything a weddy would ever want. It's actually one of my like favorite like mounts that I've gotten in the game so far. I got it on Warbeard and then like immediately swapped over to Pelcrum and redid the whole event again because I wanted it. And you can like dye it, which is cool too. Like the purple and blue are um, dyeable, so you can even change the colors of it. You can't change the white, unfortunately, but like the rest of it you can. But I once again foolishly missed 10 day this month, so I feel like getting my coffin mount is never going to happen. I need to just set like a recurring like thing, a reminder on my phone that just tells me to like hop on because like um, the problem is, is I think to go check it on the 10th and I usually don't get to play until after like 5 p.m. And that would be 6 a.m. on the 11th in Japan, so then 10 days over and I miss it every single month. So I think what I'll do is I'll just put a note in my phone for the 9th and be like, just like, go do it. Just check it. And then we should be good to go. All right, so we got to do holy poetry in here. And a buddy of mine reached out to me about yesterday's stream. Apparently, I ended the stream like not right before, but like I I apparently could have finished Breath of Fire 3 yesterday if I just pushed through a little bit further. Uh, apparently, I'm like really not far off from the end of the game. So what I might do is I might do an extra since I missed Monday because I was like the way back in my hometown and that. Uh, what I might do is do an extra stream on Friday and maybe we'll wrap up Breath of Fire 3 this week. If not, we'll come back to it next week, but uh, I'd like to to maybe we'll just do like a short stream, like whatever's left of it and kind of wrap it up. All right, so. Holy poetry. I'm saying the holy poetry. The presence of demon miasma that used to fill the air around us is disappearing. Welcome succeeded in the demon miasma sealing ceremony. Let's go back to Sage's lair and meet up with Sage Idos. I'm not even going to walk out of here. I'm just going to teleport. The privilege of a magic user. I also saw, interestingly enough, they picked the wrong game, not to be rude, but apparently they're bringing back Freedom Wars. And that's great. I like Freedom Wars, but man, it should have been Soul Sacrifice. Not to be a bitch, but it should have been Soul Sacrifice. Oh, well, maybe that's maybe that means they're open to bringing back more of the cool Vita games. I would be down for that. So. Oh, man, it would be nice. I saw that and like I felt bad because I know a lot of people love Freedom Wars, but then I saw that I was like, it should have been it should have been Soul Sacrifice Delta. Oh, well, I'll still check it out, though. We'll see how it is. All right, I should be able to go right to it. From here, yeah. That's why I was thinking that I had a teleport there, but it's only through the uh, Bazoom Girl. Thank you, Lunry. I gotta maybe get that. I made sure when I hooked everything up in like my new place that the the Vita capture was still working properly. 
Uh, so we may we may bring back Soul Sacrifice at some point. We'll have to see. Maybe I'll do like a couple streams of it once we finish up Freedom Unite and then we'll get back on the Monster Hunter train with uh, Dose. Uh, we'll have to see. It seems that you have successfully completed the ritual of sealing off Demon Miasma. So let me ask why you came all the way out here. Welcome informed Eidos that Lucenda was calling. I see, so you're trying to get a head start on the mysterious cocoons that have appeared in Grand Zadora. The omens appearing in various parts of Astolcia are harbingers of impending danger. That's why I've been traveling around the region, strengthening my sacred power to protect Cuckoo Land from the demon Miasma. Even if I don't return for a while. And Belkrum, you helped me to perform the ritual to seal off demon Miasma. And Cuckoo Land is now well protected. The crown of wisdom alone is Sage Eidos. I will go after infusing a new response message into the answering Eidos. That I will be away for a long time. You go ahead to the secret meeting room in the castle. He's my favorite sage. Like, I like... Um... Shit, I forgot its name. Train Sage? <laughs> well, we'll see his name in a second when we go meet them. Uh, but anyway... He's my favorite sage just because he looks cool. He looks like a very traditional, like, wandering wizard, and I'm all about it. Alright, let's go to Grand Zadora Castle. I'm like so close to finishing Warbeard's like warrior class too. Like he's only got two more levels because uh, the level cap right now is 133. So if I can get that done, I'd be very happy because then I've just been like kind of slowly leveling each class on him. Like I'm not like grinding. I'm just like I'll do like my my weekly quests and my like, you know, sometimes I do my dailies. I don't do dailies every day because I don't like to make any video game feel like a job that I have to go to every day. Uh, but I've just been kind of like slowly leveling up that way. Like it'll take a long time, but I'll eventually get all the classes like fully capped out. Ah, Belkrum, thank you again for calling Idos here. Now that we're all here, I will share the results of my investigation. It was hollow. I knew it was hollow in my head, but I was like, that's not the right name. Uh, where's Ann Lucia? We can't start without her, can we? I've already explained the situation to Ann Lucia and the king. This meeting will be conducted by only us here. As you all know, a mysterious giant cocoon has appeared in the sky above Grand Zadora Castle. I formed an investigation team to gather information on the cocoon. Unfortunately, they found nothing. I checked the archives of Grand Zadora as well as the archives of all the other nations of Astolcia. There was no mention of this cocoon in any historical record. Therefore, to say to assume, we are dealing with an entity beyond Astolcia. However, Belkrum here is the only one who has seen this entity before. What is the meaning of all this, Belkrum? Please explain what you know. Look at how cool he is. Hmm. Belkrum explained that by using the ethanol cube, they're able to travel to a future where Astolcia was destroyed. This is bad. This is bad. When Belkrum saw it comes true, the world will be doomed. A cocoon. Does that mean there's something alive inside of it? Am 
most likely. If it is a cocoon, as it appears to be, you must also assume whatever is inside is preparing itself to come out. But before that happens, Lady Lucenda, there's been an incident on the Bridge of Heroes. A terrible monster has appeared on the bridge. What? Is this true? Yes, the sky over the bridge suddenly became distorted, and then a monster appeared out of thin air. I've never seen anything like it before. It's it's on the move to the castle. We closed the gates to town just in case, but at this rate, it'll reach the castle at any moment. Understood. Please inform Aunt Lucia of the situation. She should be in her room right now. Welcome. Come with us. We're going to go intercept the monster before it can reach the castle. I guess I guess I'll go meet them. I want to get Belkrim up one more level as well. Um, I've been trying not to like accidentally over level him because I want to like keep him as close in line with where the story is as I can. Like, unfortunately, like, you know, if he gets enough experience, he'll level. Uh, what I've been usually doing is like um, using the concierge to like not get as much experience and then I dump it into another class. But um, anyway, if he gets one more level, I can do there's like a quest you can do to unlock like a new uh, special move. So right now, the only special move it has, he like strengthens himself and his summons. Uh, but there's like a secondary move that you can get for Druid that is like a big AOE damage spell. So I kind of want to get it because one, it looks cool. And two, more damage is nothing to sniff at. Even though Druid's more of like a support dash DPS than anything, they're not like pure DPS. But they are useful to have. Look at this guy. That looks like a Hexa Beast, but like cooler. Be on your guard. I can't even begin to tell what this thing is capable of. The beast cannot be allowed to get near the castle. I need to attack as one. Leave it to me. Roger that. There you go. Put him in a bubble. We, the crown of wisdom, will not be beaten so easily. Now he's just doing... Oh, okay, I was going to say he's just doing poses because he's angry. Looks like we don't have time to wait for Aunt Lucia to get here. Belkrim, hold the line until Aunt Lucia arrives. Wrong! Let's, uh, we're gonna keep going strong. I, I might switch out one member of the party. Um, but you know what? We'll see how the battle goes. Are you gonna fucking one-shot me, you bitch? Oh, damn. Okay, maybe, maybe... Not strong.
Jeez, okay. Poor beard, fucking destroy him. You just need to get away when he does throw down. That'll be kind of the fun part because it's been such a long time since I've done version four. I'll have to like relearn the bosses, which is fun in its own way. Oh my God, I'm stupid. There we go. I had them set to like, just let me do everything. <laughs> like, why aren't they doing anything? <laughs> All right, there we go. Now we're OK. Oh, that was bad. Usually when I'm like testing the audio to make sure everything's cool, I like put them to like chill out so that I can just sit in a battle with like the louder music and that for a minute just to make sure everything's like leveled out. Yeah, we'll make up for that too. We'll give them the full acceleration. I don't think we got the wind resistance. No, we didn't. There we go. Don't fucking one shot me, you dick. Okay, maybe we'll have to do like regular for a bit. He's not too bad. It's just like when he decides to target me, he just like walks up. He's like, all right, you're dead, Belkrum. Get out of here. I'll have to resummon my pet in a minute, too. Yeah, this guy doesn't do much. He just kind of... Mainly, it's just the, um, the throwdown spell. Unless he decides to target you and then he has like a little combo that can wipe you out. Here you go, Lizzie. Lizzie's getting there. Crown of Wisdom and Belkrum's combined strength, there was nothing to fear. Boggin, don't hit him. Wait, Boggin. Sorry, Brogan. Something's wrong. Oh, shit. It's alive. How can this be? We saw Belkrum defeat it. Nice color scheme. Belkrum, sorry I'm late. Had a girl, Aunt Lucia. You sure do know how to make an entrance, lassie. This is that beast Lucienda told me about. I wonder if it has something to do with that creepy cocoon. That would be like really off-putting just to see a giant cocoon floating up in the sky. Ooh. He's not dead.
How? I'm sure I took it down. Don't tell me that be- sorry, don't tell me that this beast is immortal. The fight will never end like this. All right, everyone, let's give it a taste of our secret weapon. We, the crown of wisdom, call forth Quadra Space. Speaking for Sage Brogan of the Crown of Wisdom. <laughs> oh, they're like compressing him down. That's cool. I'm Sage Hollow of the Crown of Wisdom. I'm Sage Eidos of the Crown of Wisdom. I'm Sage Lucenda of the Crown of Wisdom. All that we, the Crown of Wisdom, desire. Come forth, Quadra Space. Once sealed in the quadra space, no monster can hope to escape it. Oh dear, it's been a while since I've used such advanced magic. I'm exhausted. But still, I can't believe none of us were able to defeat it. Such terrifying power hasn't been seen since the Demon King that invaded a thousand years ago. The immortal demon king that was defeated by the hero Alvin. Is he still? Oh, that's not ideal. Impossible. Don't tell me it's going to break through even the quadra space. Red options. We've got to seal it from within. You too. The Crown of Wisdom will enter the Quadra space and try to stop that thing from getting out. We'll hold it back as long as we can. You need to find a way to counter its immortality and defeat it once and for all. Wait, everyone. How are we supposed to defeat something that's immortal? Thousand years ago, the hero Alvin defeated the immortal demon king. There must be a hint. Velcrum and Lucia, please. We're counting on you. Bye. Lucenda! We must find a way to defeat that immortal beast before it breaks the seal. If we don't, the Grand Zadora will. Velcrum, Lucenda mentioned an immortal demon king that lived a thousand years ago. An immortal beast and an ancient immortal demon king. Maybe there's a connection. Oh, right. There's an inscription by the hero's altar about the battle between the hero Alvin and the immortal demon king. Maybe that's where we can find a clue about the beast's immortality. And how we can counter it. Let's meet at the altar, okay? There's no time to waste. We don't know how long the Crown of Wisdom will be able to hold that thing back. Alright, little boogie.
I actually don't remember what happens here. Well, I guess that's a good thing. Like I've said before, it's kind of like one of the good things about my crap memory is that, uh, you know, I don't remember things for terribly long, like like little things like I, I remember like big things, but like, you know, the I know that I remember the overarching narrative. I just don't remember like the individual little story beats. The hero's altar, such a relaxing place. As you know, this is a statue of my ancestor. He's the previous hero that saved the world a thousand years ago. We used to say a prayer here for Toma every day back when we thought he was the hero of this age. Hero of the past, please give me the strength to support my brother Toma so that I may be a great ally. Fortunately, my dream of protecting the world at Thomas' side would never come true. Yeah, but now you have your best friend, Velcro. Not the... Sorry, I'm not the same as I was back then. Right now, my dream is to defend the Astolcia that Toma loved with you as my ally, Velcro. The hero Alvin also had an ally. However, right before the final battle with the immortal demon king, it said that Camille ran away. The hero Alvin, despite being betrayed by his ally, fought the immortal demon king alone. He succeeded, but at the cost of his own life. The beast we fought back there, no matter how many times we beat it, it would just get right back up, just like the immortal demon king. That Alvin had fought. If only we could speak with the Alvin. We could find out how he defeated an immortal being. Walter is shiny. I'm going to have to say Q a bunch of times now. This statue has a connection to the events of a thousand years ago. We can use it to go back in time, Q. Who's this? Is this a pet of yours, Velcro? He's not a pet, he's my friend. How rude, Q. I'm Kiruru. Time fairy. If anyone is to be called a pet here, that would be Velcro, Q. Kiruru. Is that this thing's name? Don't call it a thing. He's obviously sentient. He's a person. Velcrum, this statue and that monster from earlier have similar energy readings. Q. In other words, if we jump back in time to a thousand years ago, we might find some clues on how to beat that monster. Q. Jump back a thousand years. If we can go back to when Alvin was he still alive. Well, you can't. I'm coming with you, Belkrum. If you can really send us back in time, then we should get going immediately. We might be able to find some way to beat that beast. That's impossible, Q. Only the people of Athene have the power of time travel. You won't be able to come with us, Q. No way. Velcrum, isn't there anything you can do? You can? Sorry. Princess and Lucia, there you are. Is this the, uh, that dude again with the glasses? Yeah, it is. That guy's there. He's like the only guard. His Majesty the King wishes to see you. We'd like a full report on the situation regarding the immortal beast. I see. If the sage is gone, there'll be nobody left to protect Father and everyone else in the castle. If I go back in time. Guys, like, I don't get paid enough to, like, listen to this. I'll stay here and defend the castle if that beast returns. Find a way to defeat it and please come back safely. Let's go. Is my father in the throne room? Yes, he is. All right, great.
Oh, excuse me, I got a bit of a tired on today. I'll begin the time leap queue. Time setting 1,000 years ago. I like that he like looks around like he's got binoculars. You can't see time. Location setting, Graham Zadora. We should arrive in a place that's connected to this statue queue. The events that transpired a thousand years ago are a confirmed and well-known part of history. Q. Changing the past is no trifling matter. We don't get any... Sorry, jeez. We don't get any funny ideas while we're there, Q. All we have to do is observe, Q. Once we know how to defeat the immortal beast, we can leave, Q. Dead incomplete. I'll now activate the ethanol cube cube. Right, let's check out old school Grand Zadora. Man, if I'm going to be like this sleepy uh, this early, I'm going to have to like set myself up like a coffee whenever I stream because like I've been whew, yesterday and today. I'm just like I'm just beat. is like well was that me falling or is that like something beating on the door Whew. okay I'm gonna snap out of it looks like the cube was a bit off again still we're within the margin of error and are now a thousand years in the past Q I'll leave contacting the locals to you Q I'm gonna rest for a while Job, Kiruru, my best friend. I'd like to get. I think you can get like a. Yeah, but I have Joe Neal. But I think you can get like a Kiruru that'll like chill out with you. But I've already got my beloved best friend, Joe Neal. So. Kiruru will have to stay as a storyline friend. We should be able to speak freely here. Lady Camille, dost thou truly intend on seeking out the sacred art of sealing immortality? Would not have made the request if I was not certain, Yeslam. Yet I still do not understand. The entire nation should be searching for these arts. Why entrust such an important task to me? Without informing Alvin. Alvin will learn of the sealing arts once I am certain of their whereabouts. Now is not the right time to burden him with such a matter. Them words cannot fool me, Camille. Thy true intentions are to sacrifice your own life to save Grand Zadora. Camille, thou art truly beautiful. Ask them, what are what art thou saying? Thou knowest how I feel about thee. And thou knowest as well. As I, that this country is not long for this world. The twelve tyrants of the demon army have left the land in ruin. The survivors continue to dwindle in number, and the demon king shall soon burn the castle to the ground. The end of Grand Zadora is upon us. Even the hero Alvin, with all his might, is no match for the immortal demon king. Emil, leave Grand Zadora with me. We should not let our blood be spilled on this foreign soil. Uh, you're kind of a baby. What? I didn't know you were a bitch. <laughs> Priest is like, I shouldn't hear this. I'm going to get killed. Let us leave this ruined land, Camille. 
We should go far, far away and live a life of peace. Enough of this. I'm indebted to Grand Zadora. Though it may not be of my land of birth, I would gladly give my life for its salvation. Even should we run from here, the armies of the Demon King shall march on until all the world is conquered. There is no escape. I see. Couldst thou ever change thy mind, milady? Know that I'll be right here waiting for thee. But get out of my sight, I would never date you. In regards to your prior topic, I sent my scouts out and we have successfully located the place in which the ancient arts rest. The guardian who holds the key to those arts tests the resolve of all who wish to enter. None have ever succeeded, be they king or commoner. I shall be the first. Where is it? Tell me. The place is. Is it this guy? He, he was back here a thousand years ago. We're under attack. A message from the watchtower. The Demon King's army is approaching the town. Everyone evacuate the castle immediately. Comes from a long generational line of people with poor eyesight. We shall speak more of this later. Leave the demons to me. Now let's go back to the castle and protect Princess Vistaria. Sorry, just a mo. This is your fr never mind. We're good. Yeah. You know what? Change my resurrection point here. Oh yes, I forgot to tell you something important, Kiruru. Each time you leap forward in time, you will return to a place that is closely related to Belkrum. Well then, I'll leave the rest to you this time. Wait, where, like, where would I go this time? Alright, well anyway, let's head out. Wait. It must be outside. Isn't it? We must already have it. Yeah. I was going to say we already have it. Never mind. All right, real quick, we're just going to grab the reporters for some reason all the names are staying in japanese for some reason let's see here i might have had a glitch we'll have to see it's fine like if the names are in japanese no biggie uh but if anything else glitches out, my computer's been like acting like real funky today i don't know what its problem is um like while i was setting up the stream like i was ready to go at eight o'clock and then everything crashed and like went all crazy and I had to like reboot and wait for everything to like get set back up again so I don't know what its problem was it was weird I like um all I did was like I loaded up VLC for a second just to like double check the sound levels of like like a little recording just that I did just to make sure everything was good and as soon as VLC opened I'm not gonna blame VLC but it was that's what was happening uh as soon as I opened VLC like both of my monitors turned off and then everything just went weird. Wait a minute. The ground is loose on this road. The cliff might collapse. If you want to go to the castle, go towards the plaza. You just let me go up the stairs, man. Who cares? There's somebody standing there specifically to stop you. It's like, don't don't go that way. All right, fair enough. We'll go this way. Nope, there's a fire. You know what? Ask Grand Zadora. It's, you know, it's not as nice as modern. 
One sec. There we go. I do hope that Twitch eventually gets their bot problem under control because it's a little aggravating. Oh, well. I guess it is like it's restricted, so that's good at least. But like, boy, oh boy, they've been getting through a lot more lately. Look at this guy. He's got a little helmet. You get out of here. That's General Giga Clubber. That are no match for him. <laughs> Foolish, meager humans. For the sake of my lord, the immortal demon king, I offer up what remains of thine souls. Oh, no, Giga Clubber. I'm not down for this guy. All right, we'll try strong. Why do they only fucking target me? It's very annoying. It doesn't matter if I have this like curse in this game. It doesn't matter if I'm in a party full of like the NPCs or if I'm in like a party with other players. Like the, at the start of the fight, the monster will just walk up to me and one shot me. It's like, no, I'm going to kill Velcrum just because. Oh well. It missed, we're screwed. I might, I might reboot, depending, but as long as the technique names and everything are in English, I'm all right. No. I think at 110 there's actually another quest as well to like strengthen my uh my summon bud. So let's get fucking sword buddy out. Don't leave me alone, I'm sorry. Dead. <laughs> Under my knees, dead. Alright, we're good, I win. I gotta check on Lizzie. I wonder how many reincarnations they're at now. I was like really focused up because I was going to play as a monster master, but then I just really f liked Druid. We'll see if I actually stick with Druid all the way through, though. Like, I can't even remember. Belkrim has, like, changed classes, like, a lot. And we're only on version 4, so it may happen again. Who art thou? There should be none left alive in this town with the power to stand against me. That's a mean thing to do. Oh, never mind. Oh, no, that is mean. Celebrate thine victory, mighty one. 
Feast upon my army to thy heart's content. Whoa, 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 whoa. Good. Who, my lord, the immortal demon king, plans to launch his final assault on Grand Zadora. That petty victory is but a mere setback. The immortality of my lord extends to the faithful. Be warned, soon I shall return. I'll just kill you again. That's the guy from the statue. Giga Clubber is. I never thought I'd see the day. Who art thou? Look out, Alvin. Ho oh, ho! The bird didn't get nothing done. Meal. Servants of the Immortal Demon King perish. I might be a little bit too tired to be streaming today. I think I nodded off for a second there. Sorry. Dear God, I gotta get it together. I felt fine. You know what it is? It's one of those things that's like you feel great until you sit down and stop moving, and then it like everything hits you at once like i haven't stopped since like i got up this morning and like so the first time i actually like you know like stopped doing things was like when i like sat down at my computer to start this up and then i just like got really tired out of nowhere that's okay though the 12 tyrants grow bolder this was an attempt to destroy the entire town all the more reason to defeat the demon king as soon as ugh. Well, then no. Let us return to the castle. Fear thine wounds may have opened up amidst all the chaos. Please, Camille. It's but a scratch. We have more important things to worry about. You there, champion. Like as thou to return to the castle with us, that we may thank thee. Thou art a traveler, yes? Giga Clubber was a formidable opponent, even for us. Please, won't thou tell us thy name? Belkram. It's reassuring to have someone as depending, sorry, dependable as thee around here in these trying times. Ah, the gods truly favor us if they send one such as thee to our aid. I would like to introduce thee to my father, the king. Would that be... Would, would, would that be acceptable? Yes, it would. My thanks, Belkrum. It's strange. Though we have not met before, thou doth not feel like a stranger either. It is though thou wert an old acquaintance or a trusted friend. 
What would Aunt Lucia be to him, though? A couple of greats on the grandfather end. Please excuse us. I shall explain the situation to the gods. Please meet us at the throne room as soon as thou art able. Now I can go get that uh, teleport. I don't have a heal. I always forget all of my healing is like through my pet. I don't actually have any heals myself. Okay, is there an inn nearby? I kind of don't want to leave him like this. We'll hit up an inn. I use a decent amount of magic anyway. It's actually like way later. So like the whole thing, and I always thought it was cool and it was funny, but the whole thing with the zoom stone is that you can't use it inside or like underneath, like, and they're like pretty detailed with it. If you're like, in a canyon and you're in part of the canyon where like the cliff above you kind of overhangs you'll hit your head on it if you try to use a zoom stone uh but later on in the game this is not a spoiler because it's just like a mechanical thing uh but later on in the game you end up getting a zoom stone that you can use inside and i'm like oh that was kind of fun like it's nice not to have the restriction i can just like move around as you know a little bit quicker than i like whenever i want to but I was a little sad because now I don't really get that animation anymore of him like smashing his head off the roof when I don't uh, remember to go outside. All right, let's go to Old Grand Zadora and we'll go right back to the castle. That's a different guy. It's not the glasses guy, so we're all good. the inscription on the podium altar of the hero this is the best position to admire the statues of hero and ally that's what they wrote on it they're like this is the best place to look at this statue terrible placard You think I wouldn't have to look at the map the amount of times we've had to like go into Grand Zadora Castle like in this game, especially in version two, but I still check the map every single time. Wow, you don't look like him at all. I see a traveler aided in the demon army's defeat. Yes, sorry. Yes, of the 12 tyrants, few are as formidable as Giga Clubber. Even Camille and I had issues fighting him in the past. That's when. Ah, and here's the guest of honor. We were just talking about the... Uh, 
Better me introduce thee to my father, King Jute. He's also my sword fighting teacher. Beside him are my mother, Amelia, and my sister, Alina. This is Belkrum, the champion who defeated Giga Clubber. They are a very skilled fighter from a far off lane. He's just going to stay down until I continue. And he's going to stay down. He's a good guy. Ha <laughs> ha, no need to be so stiff. Treat this place as thine own home and be at ease. I hope thou wilt be good friends with me too, Belkrum. I've been feeling a bit bored because Alvin hasn't been giving me much attention lately. When the immortal demon king is defeated. And the world is at peace. I'll play with thee as long as thou would like. Until then, wait for me, Felina. Oh, 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 we're all having fun. So, what happened at the Demon King's castle, Alvin? Yes. The Demon King's castle. Floating on the sea south of our country was crowded with countless monsters preparing for the coming invasion. Alvin was on Pegasus while I was on my flying dragon. The monsters noticed us and we had no choice but to fight. We fought a few of the generals and even managed to wound the Demon King himself. But he healed almost instantly. We had no choice but to retreat. Mortal Demon King Nerados. Unless we find a way to seal his immortality, there's no chance of victory. Twelve Tyrants will eventually be revived by the Demon King's immortal power. And the battle will continue until naught remains. The two of you fought the Demon King alone? How reckless! Is that where those wounds came from? Yes, Alvin was badly injured protecting me from the immortal Demon King. Alvin was injured because his useless ally dragged him down. The Demon King would be dead otherwise. That's really snotty of you to say. Thou are correct, Princess Vistaria. It's my duty as ally to defend the hero, yet he was injured while trying to protect me. No. Will saved my life when I was about to be eaten by General Gladiator Troll. Saved my life. That changes nothing. Thou art in no condition to fight the Demon King with an injury like that. If only Camille. Thank thee for thine concern, my dear bride. Without needing worry, I know my body best, and I shall take more than a mere... Sorry. It'll take more than a mere scratch to stop me. Prince of Visteria, rest assured, I'll not trouble Alvin any longer. Alvin, please get some rest. I have something to do. If you'll excuse me. Such a noble soul, that Camille. I can feel my creativity flowing after witnessing such a scene. I might have to, like, shut down. Where dost thou think thou art going, Camille? Dost thou intend to abandon my dearest Alvin and flee Grand Zadora in fear? Don't even answer her. Yeah, just leave. Don't let her talk down to you. Lady Vistaria, with all due respect, I believe Camilla is searching for a method to seal away the Demon King's immortality. A way to seal the power of immortality. So Camille hath found something that may lead us to victory against the immortal king. Oh, that was a weird sound effect. Mill's an honorable woman. She'll return to us, sealing arts in hand. 
Yes. With the Demon King's immortality has left him, nothing shall stand between us and victory. When Camille returns, we march for the Demon King's castle. <laughs> All right, dude, go to bed. Oh, Alvin. Don't worry, Felina. I just felt a bit lightheaded, that's all. Don't try to deceive me, Alvin. Those injuries thou hast sustained are more than just mere scratches. Guards, escort Alvin to his room. Thou shalt get some rest until Camille returns from her quest. Everyone, court is dismissed for today. Well, Belkram, I have a favor to ask of thee. Find Camille and aid her in her quest to obtain the ancient sealing art. My son may be the hero of this age, but he is also heir to the throne of Grand Zadora. I cannot allow him to die. Without a way to seal the Demon King's immortality, the war is lost, and the world shall perish. Hence why I ask for thy aid. I shall have a suitable reward prepared for thee. Please find Camille and assure she obtains the sealing arts. Of course I'll do that. Uh, well then, I'm counting on thee, Belkram. I do not know where it is Camille went. Though Princess Vistaria's retainer, Yaslam, might know more about it. Please, track down Camille and help her find the secret art. I'm counting on thee, Belkram. More new quests, there's so many. Third floor, let's bug. There is one quest that I'm gonna make sure we get done uh, as soon as possible. I believe it's during 4.1 that we can finally get like a cat that like will follow us around like what Warbeard has. Although I don't I don't know if it shows up when he's an NPC or not. I have to, I, haven't really, I don't really pay attention because he's usually running behind my character, so I don't really like notice him and in battle pets all disappear. I'm gonna have to pay attention next time we're in the field if that happens. Fuck you, yes Sam. You're Belkrum who I met in the throne room. I'm Yaslam. The princess's caretaker. The princesses and I come. Sorry, the princess and I come from the far end land, where you, Camille, also where Camille also come from, a remote country. We're not from Grand Zadora. Perhaps that is why Master Camille sometimes confides in me things that she cannot ask of the soldiers and servants of this country. I understand that you want to know the whereabouts of Miss Camille. She probably went to Treetop Town. The top town is located in the Rovos Highlands, south of Grand Zadora territory. I heard that it's home to the people who guard the location of the Forbidden Mysteries. I serve Princess Visteria. I cannot leave her side. Please take care of Camille. I shall go. Storyline teleport? Nope. But it's outside, so let's take to the entrance of Grand Zadora. Yeah, sorry, I do apologize. I definitely nodded off once or twice while the uh, dialogue was going. Leave out time. I'm like, I could, I honestly could go to bed right now. I don't know why I'm so damn tired, though. Well, it was a long day, but still. All right, let's go Old Robo's Highlands. I think I want to get, I'm going to see if I can grab that, uh, 
Garial cave um, thing on the watchtower while we're out. Oh yeah, don't I have to like go? See yeah. I gotta look up too. I wanna see what the level cap was back in the day. I have like a list of like, oh, these were the level caps for each expansion. Just so I could kind of try to keep myself reasonably within range of like where it was. Hmm. Am I gonna get that treasure? Oh, that's his castle? That's amazing. Okay, let's get closer look at that. I wonder if it's like a submarine. He just like rides his head to the water every now and again. Yeah, I think um, I'm going to definitely do my best to make sure that we like get some Monster Hunter stories in because I feel bad that like, well, I feel bad that some of the playthroughs have just been taking a long time, but you know, like Breath of Fire, it hasn't been a lot of sessions, but it's just been ongoing for a while because like, you know, I had to take such a long break from streaming and then just, you know, it's been getting in the way ever since. I think it's smooth sailing from here. The birds run. Go down there. Oh yeah, I'd probably go down to the watchtower. Get the side like so if I have some time set like on uh, Friday, I will either do Maybe like maybe we'll try to finish Breath of Fire 3 because I want to I want to see if my friend was right because like, it does feel like that game is winding up so or winding down. I think we could be winding up, right? Like we're winding up to the confrontation. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Uh, so like it feels like we're getting pretty darn close to the end of that. So we'll have to see. Because uh, that might be worthwhile just to finish up and then we can just start fresh on next Monday and just get right into Gravity Rush and then kind of go from there with it. Uh, but I'm probably going to end this stream. I know I keep doing it, but I might end the stream early just because like I'm obviously way too tired uh, to be doing this because like I there's no hiding it. There's no. Well, I might be. Well, no, now I've talked about it, but. Like, maybe, maybe I can cut it out, but I feel like there'd be too many little jumps, so I'll just leave it in. It is what it is. I'm sorry. I'm just really tired. Um, I'll try not to stream when I'm this tired in the future, because I think it's a little, it's a little lame to be, like, nodding off while you're, like, walking and, like, playing a video game. Right, let's go to Treetop now. I do wish, like, I do wish I could be more consistent with this, but it's just not possible, unfortunately. I'm gonna, like, I would like to try to get back to, like, even if, like, I could only do three days a week instead of the four that I aim for. Just do, like, you know, three days that I, like, always go 
and you know we play those games um because i i enjoy playing like a couple of different games each week i think that's fun so i'd like to keep doing that but we'll have to see uh, ideally i would like to do the four days i like doing the four days a week that's kind of what i've enjoyed but i don't know we'll we'll have to kind of see where it goes from there uh, cause I'd like to, you know, just be able to get through things doing that. Oh, you can just, uh, if you go to, uh, Dragon Quest 10 Abbey, like Google that, you can download it that way. There's like a free trial and it's, it's a program called Clarity that will, uh, it translates the game. So you're, I'm playing on the Japanese servers, but it's all translated on the client side. Is it this guy? I guess it must be. The daughter of the traveling swordsman who came to see the captain was so beautiful. But I couldn't help but. It makes me want to jump. It's up to you. Captain Stoke's house is just up here. Hi. There he is. Go home. Today I've had a long, long talk with the type of person I like most. I want to go to sleep and have a good dream. You know, that's a good way to do things. Just like you have a good part in your day. Like, all right, I'm writing it off. I'm done. I want this day to end on a good note. Uh, you mean to tell me that your type of girl is not a sword-toting, stuck-up, blonde, cool beauty? You're absolutely right, but I was wondering if you could tell me how you know all that. I can explain to Stoke that he was pursuing Camille to find the secret to sealing the power of immortality. I see. It's hard work, isn't it? That's not the same thing. I'm already tired. Well, if you insist on asking me to tell you where Camille is, then I'll tell you. I want to eat that. It's called the Millennium... Sorry. Millennium Pickling. But you know what? I served it to Camille for tea and we ate it all together. That's why the pot is already empty. I just buried a new one in the ground under the village, but I have to wait a thousand years before it's ready to eat. If you still don't understand, I'll explain it to you in a few words. I don't want to talk to you. Well, goodbye. Sayonara. Wow, what a dick. All right, well, it's pretty obvious what we need to do. Let's go back to the present and get his stupid pick. Wait. Yeah, return to the present day. All right, let's go. Let's go, Joe Neal. I feel like I'm getting the second win. We'll see. One sec, my apologies. There we go. Sorry about that. Treetop Village, da 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 da. Through Lendersia. Where would it be? Thank you so much, Crimson. I really appreciate you and all that you do for me. I'm doing well. What are you saying today? Okay, I need to see the map. Robo's Highlands. Okay, so... South of Grand Zadora. Okay, let's let's get our old friend out. Scales to me. Well, thank you very much for dropping in, Crimson. I appreciate it. How's that? How's your playthrough going? You having fun still? Remember, you can always call on your old pal Warbeard if you need him. 
Or if you just want to, like, hang out. <laughs> right, let's see this Robo Thailand. Oh, rats, so you're catching up pretty quickly then. That's great. How are you liking version 2 so far? It's long. Version 2 is long, but it is cool. But how are you enjoying it so far? No! I didn't want to fight Triceradon. Yeah, the other ones don't do that version. If I if I had like a version that just like it just a little bit overstated its welcome, it was definitely version two. It was still good, but it like the other ones are all way better. In my humble opinion. Oh, I finally like finally tried Bellatro the other day. Like finally, the game's pretty fun, actually. I was really enjoying it. I sat down and played it for like an hour or so, and I was like, oh, this is actually pretty rad. I bought it like months ago, and I just never tried it. Uh, it glitched out. It was, it, something went wrong while I was streaming, and I'm like, whatever. I can play the game without it for now. I don't know what happened. It just like, um, the, the window says that it lost connection with something, so. I always get like, tripped up when I come up here. Or would it be on the ground? It's a millennial pickle. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. They're like, I saw like on iOS, they like already have clone versions of the game too, but I imagine that they're going to adapt like a bunch of different, like kind of solitaire games to that style. Cause it, it was pretty interesting. Like I don't care about poker at all, but I like, was pretty engrossed with it, and I'm like definitely gonna play more of it. I'm just doing this on Wednesdays too, because like Freedomy Nights being a bitch to me, and I wanna build a new set and it's not letting me, so I'm being like grouchy about it. Until I build my set, Wednesday is Dragon Quest 10 day. That's it. I've always wanted to learn how to play Mahjong. I have no idea how to play it. I tried, but. Uh, I need to like sit down and like actually like learn it better, but it it's always been a game that's been interesting to me. I've just never learned how. From dug into the ground and out of the earth, he found an old pot. The pot said Millennium Pickling, a thousand years old. Don't open it till a thousand years have passed. Yeah, for sure. I had some website that I registered on to learn how to play. Sakura? Sakura Mahjong, maybe? I don't remember. I'd have to look it up. Uh, but I tried it out. I tried it the tutorial, but I didn't quite understand it. So I feel like I just like didn't pay close enough attention when I was uh, reading through everything. The pot has a nose bending yet mellow aroma. Welcome received the Millennium Pickling key item. All right, now we can go back and see that grouch. And hopefully he'll be nicer to me. That's I think that's it. Let me let me go to Mahjong Soul. Maybe that's the one I tried out. Yeah, the link's purple, so that's definitely the one I went to to try to learn. Yeah, yeah, I recognize this website. Yeah, okay. I tried it out like a while ago. I didn't like really get too far into it, but uh, I gave it a shot a cup for like a, you know, I think like half an hour or so. I feel like maybe that's a game that I need to like try to learn in real life before I play a digital version of it. There's certain games that like, for whatever reason, I, I have a hard time grokking them when they're digital, but then when I'm like sitting there with the actual components in person, I can, I don't know why, I, I just feel like I learn it better. And Mahjong sets aren't terribly expensive just for a beginner's one. All right, listen, come, come, come. 
Yeah, you can get like some like crappy ones on Amazon, but yeah, like if you want some like nice ones, yeah, they can be pretty pricey. Or even like mid-range ones can get up there. That almost nose bending yet mellow aroma. Millennium pickling! Would you like to give Captain Stoke the Millennium Pickling? I don't want to because he was a prick to me, but I will. Belkram handed a Millennial Pickling to Captain Stoke. This pot is so old that it can only be said to be a thousand years old. And this character is exactly my character. I'm sure of it. What we have here is a Millennium Pickling that is a thousand years old. I see. It seems that you're not as ordinary as you look, and a very big one at that. No, no, no. No need to hide it. A good man can see everything, and you and I have the same ambition, right? I don't need to ask you how you obtain this from a thousand years in the future. You as well. Thank you very much for stopping in, Crims, and I hope to see you again sometime soon. Have a good night, eh? Camille is strong, but strength alone is not enough. There are opponents like that in the world. I leave Camille Chan to you. Hurry to the Guardian's Hall. The ruins of Reviewly Highway. I always say that name wrong. Reviewly Highway South. If your or ally can't chant the secret password that has been passed down only in Treetop Town, the door of the ruins that enshrine the forbidden secret art will open. I'm sure that's where you and Camille will find what you're looking for. What do you think? Was that cool? Well, that's what I'm talking about. Run to the Rivuli Highway South. Guardians Hall. Pippi! Jesus. Okay, that sentence is all over the place. Ba -ba -ba. All right, it's not too far away. Yeah, we'll pop over. Maybe we'll like help out Camille and then we'll call it there. I got a bit of a second win, so I'm feeling better. I'm going to have to like what like kind of scrub through and like see. I'm just going to stop talking about it. We know that old Warbeard was a little sleepy tonight, and I think I can be forgiven for one time. I think I can just hop down and yeah, we'll just pop over the hall. Yeah, actually, I pre-order. I don't pre-order very often, but I did like I pre-order the uh, the uh, version of Belatro that's coming out on cell phones because I'm like I never play cell phone games like ever. Like I just I don't know why I'm not like a big like touchscreen video game person. I'm just something about it. There's like board games that I'll play on touchscreen, but like. Very, very rarely will I play something, but that game, I'm like, that would be great on a cell phone. So if I'm ever, like, you know, stuck somewhere and I don't really have anything else to do or nothing with me, usually I have a book with me, but, like, you know, if I have nothing to do and I don't have a book with me, then I can just chill it and play some Bellatro on my phone, which I'm totally into, so. Uh, the only thing that will suck is that I'd have to start over, but, like, whatever, it's, it's a roguelike, it's fine, like. Doing runs and losing everything is part of the charm. What? That developer, like, what a cool... I don't know if anybody else came up with that idea ahead of time, because it's, you know, I never really looked into any game that had anything to do with poker. Uh, weirdly enough, like, my love of board games and that, I, I really don't know very much at all about um, poker. And, like, a lot of traditional card games, but mainly poker. Am I crazy? Oh, it's over there. All right, I think I can just drop down. Yeah, yeah, and then we'll just follow the road. I love these sun guys. There's like different versions of them, but they're just cool. Every single version of them is rad. There's one in... Actually, I think there's one in version 4 that looks really cool, but... No, leave me alone, I'm sorry.
It's funny though, because like I bought. Well, we'll see. We'll see if I actually do play it on my phone. Like it doesn't matter in this context. I'm not going to stream it off of my phone, but uh, I always like get games on my cell phone thinking like, oh, like this will be the one. It'll be like a fun little thing to do, like when I'm waiting around and I like never end up playing them. But I, I really do think that one lends itself very well to like a, a touch screen. I think it'll be really neat. This is the Guardian's Hall, where the ancient arts of sealing immortality are hidden. Why art thou here? Welcome tells Camille about the King's request. I appreciate thine concern, but Alvin is wounded. I'm afraid he can't protect the castle by himself. Thou truly wish to aid me. Thou shouldst return to the castle and prepare for the next attack. Shouldst thou do this, then I shall be able to search for the ceiling arts with peace of mind. What's this guy saying? That wagon. Tis the Grand Zadora royal families. Oh, no. He's like, don't go in there. Run away with me. Oh, never mind. It's her. Thou cannot flee, Camille. Princess Vistaria, what bringeth thee to the such a dangerous place? Just ignore. Why is she so mean to her? Hmm. This door isn't just for show. There appears to be a large room behind it. I thought thou had intended to flee, Grand Zadora, like the coward thou art. But it would seem thou truly art searching for the sealing art. I shan't allow for the likes of thee to take credit for this. It shall be me who delivered the sealing arts to my beloved Alvin. Princess, there are dangerous monsters in the ruins beyond. Please return to the safety of the castle. I shan't allow it. Come now, open the door. Only a hero or ally has the power to open the door, right, Yaslam? Don't, don't you dare rat me out. My lady. You're the future queen. If something were to happen to thee, Alvin would be devastated. Your future queen hath spoken, Camille. Open this door at once. I should have given her more oomph there. I'm so sorry. I'm not a voice actor. Velcrum, I take back what I said before. Please join me as we venture into the ruins. The Princess Vistaria here. I would like to ask for thy assistance in keeping her safe. Oh, art thou to be my escort on this journey? Surely thou shalt be more reliable than Camille. Let's get going, Belcrum. He's like, I'm so... There we go. I apologize for any inconvenience this may cause, and thank thee in advance for thine patience, Belcrum. I know I definitely, like, screwed up his name when I was, like, setting it up in Japanese. I wonder what it actually says. I bet it's just gibberish. Oh, well. Warbeard, like, his name, it's, like, if you sound it out, it's, like, Warbiado. It's not great, but it's as good as I can get it. Very well. I shall open this door just as Captain Stolk taught me. I, Camille, ally of our time, beseech the great Ruin Guardian. 
May the path to the ancient arts be revealed. Ab Abacam. That's cool. Allow me to lead the way, Princess Vistaria. Wait, Belkrum, Yaslam, we're going in too. Dude, go follow your mistress. You don't need to bow to me. Get out of here. All right. Here's what we're going to do. I think we're going to call it because obviously I'm too tired to be streaming today. Uh, so we're going to call it there. And next time we stream this, I'm going to I'm going to try to make it either Friday or Saturday, because like I said, I miss Monday. I'll see if I can fit some extra like an extra one or two in this week to kind of make up for it. Uh, you know, not that it really matters, but, you know. I'm, I'm a good guy. I try to help out. Uh, so that's what we'll do. So I'm going to hit up the end screen and then we will shut down for today so that I don't like fully fall asleep at my computer because I can feel it coming. Not that the game's boring, but I'm like, I'm legit fucking tired. All right. Like I literally just said, that's what we're going to call it for today. So when we come back to this, we're going to explore these ruins and find uh, the ceiling arts. Uh, the going plan is maybe so tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to do some um, drink, not Dragon Quest monsters. We are going to get to that uh, Monster Hunter stories. We're going to continue on with the Monster Hunter stories one playthrough. And then on Friday, as long as I have time to stream and I, I think I should be OK, um, I'll see about either we'll continue on with this or we'll look into maybe maybe we are within like not too long of finishing breath of fire three and then whatever one of those we don't do on friday we'll do on saturday uh so that's that's what i'm going to try to do no promises but that's what we're going to do uh but anyway i want to thank you very much for checking out some dragon quest 10 i hope you have a great day and hope to see you again some other time have a good one bye, -bye. i'm gonna go to bed